Hey, Mark. Hey, Jay. So, are we really doing this? We're doing this. So, you're going to tell everybody seven words that they need to use in IELTS speaking to get a seven, eight, or even nine. That's right. Okay, Mark, I think I know what the first word is. Is it plethora? No. The first word is if. So, if. Like, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a Ferrari. Not quite sentences like that. We can use if very predictably to show cause and effect and extend ideas. Use if to talk about cause and effect. If I don't get enough sleep, I feel terrible the next day. If the sun is out, my house warms up quickly. If people start recycling, it can make a big difference. So we can also use if to criticize someone or something, is that right? That's right. Use if to criticize. If people exercised more, then maybe they'd be healthier. If education systems were better, more people would understand this. If businesses cared more about the environment, I guess that we'd be in a better position. Okay, cool. And how do we use if to show a problem and a solution? Mm. Use if to suggest solutions to problems. If people want to solve these problems, they will need to demand change from their leaders. If people want change, they will have to make some sacrifices. Or if I studied with E2, I would pass my IELTS. If you need to pass your IELTS test, then click that subscribe button for great video content every week on all different parts of the IELTS test. So Mark, how do we put this if sentence or these if words into an IELTS speaking question? Okay, Jay, I'm going to give you a part three IELTS speaking test question. Let's see how we can use if to help us answer this question. How can people improve their health? I think that's pretty simple. Firstly, you need to exercise, of course. If you do about 30 minutes a day of exercise, then that will keep you fit. Staying healthy is actually pretty easy. If people weren't so lazy, they'd be much fitter. I mean, if you want to get fit, you need to get off the couch and go for a walk. So, the first if sentence is a cause and effect sentence. And then I've used if to criticize. And finally, I've used if to show a solution. Cool. Great work. But remember everyone, don't overdo it. You don't have to start every single sentence with if. In fact, you can probably just take one of those ideas mm. and explore it more with other types of grammar, other words, other sentences. Cool. Let's look at the next word. The next one is more. More? What about plethora or irrefutable or phantasmagorical? You don't need to memorize these fancy sounding words. Honestly, they create more problems than they solve. Agree. Okay. So, more is a very versatile word and we use it a lot. Uh, and it's going to help you connecting and extending your ideas. It's going to help you with your grammar, and it's going to help you with your pronunciation as well. Use more to extend your ideas. The more I study, the more my test results improve. The more we invest in energy research, the sooner we can start solving global warming. The faster children develop healthier eating habits, the less likely they'll grow up to suffer from diet-related diseases. Wait, you said to use the word more, but then you use the word sooner, faster, and healthier. That's right. So that er sound at the end, that's the more in the comparative adjectives, like fitter, happier, healthier. Gotcha. And if you want to learn more about grammar, including comparative adjectives, check out our other YouTube channel called E2 English. It's got heaps of great videos on grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation, which will be incredibly helpful for your IELTS test. Okay, Jay, I'm going to give you an IELTS speaking part one question, and you're going to use more in your answer. What's more important in your job? 
the work you do, or the people you work with? Uh, it's definitely the people. The nicer and more helpful your colleagues are, the more fun you have at work. Notice here how I've used the comparative adjectives nicer, more helpful, and more fun. And notice the way I added stress to the words nicer and more fun, and this is gonna help me with my IELTS pronunciation score. Nice work. So as an ex-IELTS examiner, I would have noticed that you've extended your ideas, you're using more complex grammar, and you're already using sentence stress quite effectively. So if you're aiming for a seven or higher, you're off to a pretty good start. Nice, excellent, good stuff. What's the next word? The next words are to and the. What? To and the? Really? Yeah, these are two fantastic words to help you focus on connected speech or linking, which is super important if you're trying to get up to a seven or higher. Okay, how? Let me show you. In spoken speech, you'll often hear to and the like this. I went to the gym yesterday. I would go to the library at school. I took the train to the zoo. Making small improvements to your ability to link words together is going to have a huge impact on your score. It's going to allow you to speak faster or slower and maintain intelligibility. Cool. So it's just to the, to the, to the. To the. That doesn't mean that to and the are incorrect the way that you see them in the dictionary, mm -hmm. but it's very common to hear them shortened slightly as to the. Very natural. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one. The next word is which. As an ex-IELTS examiner, I actually used to think it was strange that I didn't hear this word more often. We can use which to reflect on something. Idea one, which is strange because. Idea two, which is important because. Idea three, which is unfortunate because. We can also use which to introduce cause and effect. Idea one, which can lead to. Idea two, which causes. Idea three, which may result in. Okay, great. So we can use which to reflect upon something or we can use which to show cause and effect, but how does it work in the context of IELTS speaking? Mm. Here's a part one question. What is your favorite room in your house? It's definitely my bedroom. It's got a big window that faces the east, which is wonderful because in the morning it fills my room with sunshine. So I've said which is wonderful here because I'm reflecting upon something and I'm extending my ideas. Now, if you wanna watch a video on cause and effect, you can click it in the description below. Nice, Jay. Cool, thanks. All right, what's the next one? The next word is so. So can be used at the end of a comparison of ideas or maybe a list of ideas so that you can show your final position or opinion on something. And why can't I just say in conclusion? That's probably something you wanna avoid in the speaking test. It's more appropriate in writing. Agree. Use so to conclude your points. Point one, point two, point three, so. Let's use so in the context of an IELTS speaking question. Here's a part three question. Who is more responsible for addressing the dangers of global warming? Individuals or governments? It depends. If individuals make an effort, they can accomplish a lot through recycling and living more sustainable lifestyles. But if governments set clear regulations, they can very strongly influence businesses to find more sustainable practices which is important because they can create more pollution than individuals. So it's probably governments who bear most of the responsibility. Notice here how I've used the word so to conclude my points. By the way, that was also really impressive how you've incorporated a few of the different techniques we've looked at today. We've got if for cause and effect, and we've got which is important, and then you concluded the point very nicely. Great, let's look at the last word, when. 
I love teaching this word. I love training it with some of my students. It's a great way to get students to reflect on their own experiences and ideas. And it can be really helpful if you're not totally sure what your idea is. It can help you think out loud before finally coming to your point. Use when to reflect. When I studied at university. When I was in Spain. When I was a teenager. All right, cool. Let's see how to use when in an IELTS speaking question. Here's a part three question. What are some things people can do to improve their health? Get exercise. These days, people just seem to be sitting a lot more. There seem to be a lot more things that force us to sit for longer and longer periods of time. I remember when I was younger, video games weren't so popular. But now, I constantly hear stories about young people playing video games a lot. So, you can see how I've used the word when here to reflect upon something. Then, I think at the end of this, you probably could have added something to really conclude the point. You could have used so to introduce that, or not use so. To be honest, it's not really the words you need to think about, it's the ideas. It's expressing your ideas through your experience, through your opinions, and that'll give you the opportunity to use the more complex grammar. Well done, Jay. Thanks, Mark. I can really see how those words allowed me to express myself and extend my ideas. Mm, exactly. Lead with your ideas, your experience, and your positions. Let the language describe what you're thinking. Cool. I totally agree. Let's recap those seven words. Number one, if. Number two, more. Number three and four, to and the. Number five, which. Number six, so. Number seven, when. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Cool. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, click like, and leave a comment for us. That would be lovely. See you soon.